Rich here. Uh, I just want to clarify uh, regarding my the sa previous vlog ko, vlog number 15. Yung kilay ko doon, di ba, mukhang siyang ngar-ngar. As unlike here ngayon, na maayos-ayos siyang tingnan. Kasi nung time na yon hindi ko napawax or napathreading yung kilay ko. Kaya siyang ngar-ngar itsura. Yung kilay ko parang hindi kilay is life ang peg. Yun, yun lang ang gusto ko i-clarify sa vlog number 15. Pero natutuwa ako, napapasalamat ako sa mga taong nanood ng aking sugar na makeup tutorial. Hindi nga siya makeup tutorial eh. Parang gusto ko lang ipakita na ang how I do my makeup make chenes. And right now, ang ginagawa ko, kasi bukas papasok na ako. So I'm cooking food na good for 2-3 days para pag gising ko sa sa sleep ko from from night duty may kakainin na ako i'm thinking na next time gagawa ako ng ano ng how i cook video kaya lang medyo ano siya eh medyo matrabaho siya in a way kasi isa-isa yung ingredients i ano ko ipe-prep ko eh, ako lang naman ang ng video ko eh kaya medyo ano man na kailangan kong planuhin ng mga bagay-bagay para para magawa ko siya ng maayos. Yun, um, right now, I'm also, nandito na ako sa bahay, chill-chill lang later, mag-gym ako. And I'm in my pajama. Banana in pajama. With sira-sirang t-shirt. Okay, so, gagawin ko, ipakita ko sa iniluto ko. Ala, Kimmy, name drop, Kimmy Spears. This is my friend na ang hilig niyang i-adjust stories yung mga food uh, escapades niya. And na-inspire ako doon na with mega background music. 90s background music to be exact. So, eto na. Go! Tuna pasta inspired by Kimmy Spears. I just used um, whatever's in my fridge. So, okay, eto na may galing sa oven. Mac and cheese. Ang pangalan ko? <sighs> Wag ganun, baka ma-office ako. Ano ba yun? Tsaka, sorry. Ano ba yun? The following clip that I have is kinunan ko pala siya bago magsimula yung weekly vlog number one. An old clip of our usual Saturday rarevo. Uh, as usual, mga kaartihan ko lang naman na. Okay, so wala akong may content. <laughs> Kakaloka. Anyway, ito na lang gagawin ko. I'll show you a previous video that I did for unboxing. I'm gonna do some voiceovers. So let's get this started. This is my first ever vlog. And I've decided to do an unboxing of my online purchases. So let's get started. Okay, so first off, this one from um, Divine Beauty Emporium. Well, um, I purchased from this website. It's an um, organic beauty website to try the, the hand skin cosmetic care line. I ordered one because uh, they're currently on sale. I think they're moving out. So I've been trying to get a hold of this certain. I'm just waiting for the sale, that's all. Han Skincare Cosmetics 100% Natural Eyeshadow. Uh, this one is in Golden Glow. 
Next off, we have this. This one's from 100% Pure. I've already ordered from them a lot of times, and I've been to their physical store in La Jolla. So lots of stuff to keep it protected. The last time I was in the 100% Pure shop, I asked for a sample of um, the kelp and mint volumizing conditioner and shampoo. So this one is the conditioner, it's the shampoo. I've already tried this sample before, and I love it. It made my hair so soft and smooth and it felt very light. This one is from Sophie Nails. So this is our these are organic nail polish. Unboxing is very nice for me. I like it because in a way it's like opening your gifts. And it's not even Christmas, I tell you. I've been looking for nail polishes ever since I've gone gaga over the um, the nail art things that you see in Facebook and Instagram. So I try to look for a no no odor and not all natural um, nail polish. So I got one here. I got the spring neutral collections for Sophie nails. So it's this one. Mm -hmm. this and oh it's originally the the sophie nail uh, polishes are originally created by piggy paint piggy paint these are the um, kitty nail polishes yeah so i discovered piggy paint when i was shopping in um, the navy exchange store i was looking for like selections of nail polishes and it's on the bottom most part of the shelves of the nail polish of, of the nail care shelves so i gave it a try and i liked it so good thing they have their website and just that's it just chose the colors and ordered and i was able to order my first a few weeks ago this is the second time i've ordered with sophie it's a must try especially um when the usual nail polishes has this smell one time it gave me gave me a migraine just because of the smell <sighs> It turns out my video was cut off so much for my first. Anyway, um, I'll just show to you the rest from Colourpop. Yeah, in Kapow. Ultra, Ultra Matte Lip in Kapow. The Lippy Pencil. Bullshit. I think that's all for now. Because I'm running out of time. My bat is getting low. So much for my first ever vlog. I'll try to post a picture of them. Yeah, later after this. So thanks and hopefully I'll do better next time. Well, it's the first time for for everything. I'll be back. Yeah, um, I'm not quite sure whether it's another unboxing or what. See ya. Bye. Okay, the ones that I've showed you guys, most of it I'm still using until now. Especially the um, color pop and the nail polishes. I'm still using them now. Uh, for me, the the cons of the color pop cosmetics is for me it dries my lips easily i mean it's still good though but you need to like hydrate and put an efficient lip balm for your lips before applying the matte uh, lip colors as for the sophie nail polishes i'm still using it um but there are cons on its usage because it's difficult to remove it unlike any ordinary nail polishes in the market it's hard to remove it so most of the time for long-term um, application I just put it on my toenails not on my fingernails because most of the time for fingers I tend to um, to change more often so I use it more for my feet uh, mm -hmm. but I still use it though for my nails but then um, it doesn't last too long if I if I put it in my nails that's the thing with it and then the rest um the eyeshadow i used the last time i used it was in vegas i'm gonna put a photo here and um i'm already done with the shampoo obviously it's been a year uh, i love it but then i try to change my shampoo from every now and then so that my hair don't get used to it and what else did i put in here uh huh. yeah that's basically it did you see the difference of what a year can make in vlogging and like talking to the camera in more ways than one i have improved i've improved on certain levels although not on an expert level 
but I'm getting there. I'm on my way there and I love it. So I'll just keep on doing this thing. Nakatuwa kasi it's been a year since this I thought the first ever vlog that I'll be making pero malaki yung pinagkaiba. So nakakatuwa siya. Magkakaroon din tayo ng web show. Like web show na may production ha. May kukuha sa akin. I'll make this a promise or para pag para pag um, nangyari na babalikan ko tong moment na ito. Di ba? Galing. <laughs> Even my husband believes it. Ayan o, ayan o. Yay! Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, well, you don't like it. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my vlog. See you next week. Bye!